we want to start, though, is talking about T-shirts, but a lot more than just T-shirts. We're talking about a great campaign that's been going on for a long time with my two buddies right here, David Daggett, Griff Schiller from Daggett Schiller Attorneys. Uh, good to see you guys. Hey, Jim. Thanks, Jim. Uh, David, first remind everybody what Safe Sober Campaign is all about now. Yes, this is the 34th year of the Safe Sober Campaign. It's to motivate young people uh, and encourage them through positive peer pressure, which is going to be important in a minute, uh, to avoid the dangers of drugs and alcohol, but then put them on track to have a successful life. Now, as we hold up these T-shirts, we'll talk about the design and stuff in just a second. But Griff, let me ask you, hold up yours yeah. too. Yeah. Griff, uh, let me, before I forget, I was going to ask you, you, you and David and your team have given out thousands and thousands and thousands of these over the years. <laughs> yeah. What kind of feedback do you get from them when, when they're receiving these T-shirts? It's, it's awesome. Um, you have uh, principals, assistant principals, teachers, uh, the students, everybody putting on the, the T-shirts. I, I'll quote David because he loves saying it. They put it on like a badge of honor. Yeah. Um, and it's really neat to see. Um, and, well, you know, one of the biggest things about the Safe Sober program is to generate a buzz a, about the community so that the community supports the students so that they make the right choice. Now, each year we, uh, we focus on the new design. Hold this, hold this up again. Now, David, how do you choose a winner to design these things? So, so we have a student design contest that's pretty extensive. It starts way back in the fall. We go through the process of judging T-shirts. We have a presentation. We had the mayor there. We had the sheriff. We had teachers. We had school system representatives. We make a big deal about it. Yeah. And uh, we normally, every year, we have the winner <laughs> on with us. But uh, Griff, Keegan Davis had something going on more important than TV, right? Well, yeah. she contacted me. She, th this is a great young lady, and I think we have a photo working up. Yeah, we've got some images. She's a terrific it. young lady. A teacher loves her. Principal Wyatt at, at uh, Mount Tabor loves her. She had an academic conflict come up. Yeah. As diligent as she is, yeah. she chose the academic yeah. conflict over you and me. Yeah, well, I can't, you know, well, so did my wife. No, I, uh, she's a great, great yeah, student. No. Hey, let's talk about, you know, we talk about Safe Sober. Uh, I want to mention that you really expanded this. So you're not only helping kids to get, you know, get that message out, but. Right, right. During COVID, what we did, we exclusively focused on high schools previously, which we still do. We're now looking at younger students because research shows that drugs, alcohol, and the ability to influence people is starting younger and younger. So we're going through particularly the YMCA youth programs, and we're reaching a lot of students in our community all over the Northwest uh, North Carolina, the Triad yeah. area. And you know, Griff, uh, in these campaigns over the years, um, I know you must have gotten feedback from, from parents, from students, but particularly students, because people say, well, it's nice you give them some T-shirts. Right. But do you ever hear from students or that you think you're making a difference? We do. I think I think students have indicated to us that particularly around uh, important events like proms and graduation, where they're tempted to have events before prom or after prom, that there's going to be alcohol, there's going to be drugs. I think it's good for them to know that they've taken this pledge, they've gotten a T-shirt. And they've really indicated to us that they appreciate the adults that that uh, or in the community that go and help them. Um, and, and that leads to, to this positive peer pressure among the kids so that they, they take personal responsibility, but they also help each other to make the right decision. Real fast story. I ran into a, a gentleman not long ago who is actually a grandparent now that we've been doing this for 34 years. Right. Met him when he was in high school, uh, got one of these T-shirts, and he says, you'll never know the influence that had on me meeting you and getting a free T-shirt, knowing that the community cares about young people. You changed my trajectory. Yeah, it changes. How, you might, you how might about have, that? Yeah, you might have saved his life, too, yeah. uh, in yeah. not yeah. To, to yeah. abating the drug driving situation. All right, real quick, up on <laughs> screen, daggettsurelaw.com, and uh, you can also call 724-1234 if you should need the services of these gentlemen, guys. Or to, or to get a T-shirt. Or to get a T-shirt. Yep. Yeah. Thanks for all you do, guys. Thank you, Thanks, Jim. All right, let's hold this up one more time with the camera. There it is. All right. See this? Great design. Whoa, he's got up. It is a great thing. We'll be right back after this.